Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live event of the five essential AI tools for your productivity belt. I'm so excited for this event. We have Jordan here and we have people connecting from all over the place, from Bogota, Montreal, Sweden, Atlanta, Nashville, an awesome crew that we have here today. And we're going to be showing you around some amazing tools for your productivity. So today we're going to be exploring a couple topics on why people don't use AI or automation. We're going to overview a bit of the course that Jordan has created on five tools for five days course. We're going to deep dive into each one of these tools that are ChatGPT, Bardeen, Canva, Barely, and Gamma. And we're going to showcase these tools, the use cases, and how you can use them in your day-to-day. And we're going to also have some space for FAQs and for you to share your thoughts. So let's get started. So today we have Jordan uh, that is joining us from Nashville, Tennessee. He has, uh, he's a creator of the five tools, five days AI course and the founder of You Probably Need a Robot. This is one of the biggest AI newsletters out there. Jordan has extensive experience in automation and optimization tools, and he's passionate about helping people improve their daily routine to maximize their productivity. He's an operating partner at Late Checkout, that's a holding company of community-based products where he plays a key role for this company's success. He is joining from Nashville, and he's not only a tech enthusiast, but also likes to customize sneakers as a hobby. So welcome, Jordan. And thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm pumped. So the story of how this happened is that Jordan has created a course on five tools for productivity in five days. And Bardeen was one of them. So we reached out to him and we asked him to, hey, we should do a collab. So I'm really happy this has happened. And we also want to hear about you, the crowd. We want to learn about where you're connecting from. So... Please, we want to share, uh, if you want to share a bit of an intro in the chat, uh, whether you're connecting from YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, you can share an intro. But now this is a process that it can be also optimized. So we're going to get started with some examples right away. This is an automation that can be used to share an intro based on your LinkedIn profile. So whenever you're going to a live event, you can get this automation and share it so uh, and just run it so you can uh, have an intro generated for you based on your LinkedIn profile. Let me share with the crowd what is the uh, presentation link so you can follow along this presentation and pin these automations that we're going to be showcasing today into your apps of Bardeen and you're going to be also able to follow along the resources links that we'll be sharing. So this is a public presentation and you can follow along the resources that we're going to be walking through today. So if you want to try this automation, you just need to get Bardeen, then pin the automation and then use it to generate an intro for this event. All right. So first use case for productivity. Now let's continue. Love it. Now, everybody knows about AI tools nowadays. We're hearing about AI here, AI that. Yet, some of us already know these tools, already trust them, but we struggle to use them on a daily basis. Now, why do you think this happens? And we want to hear from you, like, what do you think are the main causes? Because we've heard that it's trust issues. We've heard that it's... Um, not knowing the use case, maybe you don't know the tools. What do you think is making you struggle on actually using these tools? Now, here's our case for this. And here's why we think that people are not able to use AI to maximize their productivity. The first one is the unfamiliarity with tools. When you don't know the right tools for your use case, whether you work at support, at content, at growth, at marketing, and more, you need to know the tools so you can actually leverage AI. The second is lacking the use case because you might know a very amazing tool that everybody has heard of like ChatGPT, maybe Bardeen, but you don't know how to use it and to integrate it into your day-to-day -day workflows. And the third one is not using AI in your daily life 
you need to use these tools on a frequent basis because if you don't, you will never realize when you actually need to use it. It's something like training your brain to optimize your workflows, to spot those moments where you can leverage AI, where you can leverage tools to optimize your workflow. So uh, we have some comments here from, Bad that, from Brad that also um, he has been struggling because it's hard to learn and he doesn't know how to use it. So I do agree with that. There's some tools that you need to learn a bit uh, before you can get into them. And uh, we're going to showcase here how you can use these tools. So in this event, we're going to help you check some of these boxes. We want to help you discover the tools, discover the use case, and discover how to use these tools on your day-to-day. -day. Because if you leverage AI for work and your own personal workflows, you will guarantee have an increased productivity. So let's get into some of these tools. Jordan, do you want to walk us through this? For sure. Yeah, so like the whole premise on why we built Five Tools Five Days is we have an audience of over 100,000 people across our newsletter and um, Discord and Twitter. Um, and we heard over and over again that people were downloading uh, prompt guides and they just weren't using them. I was guilty of it as well. I just never actually d dug into them and you really need to spend the time. So what we did was build this AI productivity tool belt of something that's attainable to get every single day in your inbox that has an outline, a challenge, and how to actually use these tools that won't just live in your downloads folder or on your desktop. Um, and so these are the five tools that, that we um, picked because we've tried hundreds and these were the easiest and uh, the most powerful tools. So um, there is a disclaimer for this. Like we're not going to be able to teach you everything about these tools, but they, we will give you a taster as we go through each one of these. And if you really want to dive deep, we do offer the free five day course at, at five tools, five days.com. We'll, that's in the, uh, that's in the slides and we'll share that. And then we have a deep dive course that goes even deeper and is um, a, a 199 offering called robot master that we sell and that comes with the community as well. So um, anyway, these are the, the five powerful tools really to make you a better writer, a better designer, more, more automated to save you time, a better storyteller and a better researcher. So really like make you a better human worker and more productive with AI is the goal. So we're going to start with ChatGPT, and this is all around how to write better with ChatGPT with a secret sauce at the end um, that's, that's around constructing reusable recipes or formulas. Um, so the, the characteristics of a really good prompt are, are these four, constraints, specific, specificity, uh, context, and examples. So really working with ChatGPT as a coach and talking to them as an advisor, you know, like we always say robots are friends and you really need, that's our little friend down there. Um, you really need to use ChatGPT as a friend and a coach. So let's get into like what a constraint looks like. So these are around word count, the topic and the tone. Um, and there's an example here, like instead of saying like write a story, compose a spooky story, 500 word tale that's set in a haunted house, your level of detail will get a lot more specific when you set those constraints. Number two is specificity. I cannot say that word, um, but I'm not going to try again. Uh, goal, <laughs> what are the goals? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, oftentimes you can set a role as well. Say I am a digital marketer with the goal of reaching an audience um, the format of how you want it to look, a bulleted list, a table, and as well as the method, what it should use and how it should output that. Moving into context, tell ChatGPT who the target reader is. Um, what information do you, do you have about yourself, especially with ChatGPT's custom instructions? This is really big. You can give ChatGPT um, all the information about yourself so you don't have to retype it. Um, and you can also set the tone in there as well, but the purpose and like the call to action of the text is always, is always good to, to include in well as well. 
And the final one, and a lot of people aren't aren't doing this um, that I've seen, but they using examples. So saying like write in this style and pasting in an example or having a very templated outline, which we're about to go into, will really, really help the output of what's in your mind's eye coming across and you'll be less frustrated. I'm sure everybody's been really frustrated wrestling with ChatGPT and their responses and um, it, it, it can it cannot use um uh, not be used as well. So let's jump into the chat GPT recipe. Uh, and this is just an example formula, but what we have done um, with, with a lot of our formulas is set these up in a very malleable and variable context. So each one of these brackets is a variable and you can see by this example, that you can you can copy and paste this and save this top piece in and just change the output variables or, or the input variables and that will affect the output. So that's that's what the results of what this prompt did. So like the goal was to build an audience and um, the call to action was to get subscribers to Shopify store. So this was just an example. And you can see like the output's like relatively strong. Subscribe to my newsletter, elevate your Shopify store, et cetera. So these can be used across anything, job descriptions, sales emails, outreach, job applications. Um, no matter what you have, like setting these things um, as like contextual in your daily life is super interesting to, to set variables. And I have a lot of these stored as text replacements in in my uh, in my system so I can say like roll GPT and it will auto fill what I do and what I'm working on I also have different projects that I'm working on that have specific channels and those are just basically like almost treat them like word documents so um, there's there's a really deep level that we can go but we go a lot deeper into this in the five tools five days course so Last last little tip: Think of ChatGPT recipes as Mad Libs. You know the, these to try, if you remember these childhood games, um, depending on how old you are. But basically, just fill in the blanks of these of these Mad Libs, and it will produce either really good output or funny stories. So that that's how that's how we like to think about this stuff. And then a tip for finding prompts is always to get inspired. Um, a super prompt is a great outlet to, to find the, the right prompts and get inspired by what, what other people are doing and using. This, is, this super prompt is actually one of the most discussed prompts in the ChatGPT discourse server. This was created um, by this uh, user called Quicksilver and what it does is that it's a prompt that helps you find the right role that ChatGPT should take for the task that you have. So as we see in the video here, you get the super prompt. Can you toggle on this? Uh, you paste the super prompt and you only need to customize it with your name. So it's super long and we're going to, we're going to share the link and you can also follow along in the presentation so you can get this prompt. And from there, you can start discussing with ChatGPT as if it were a regular conversation, and it'll give you uh, options on what are the best roles that ChatGPT can play to help you on your challenge. So uh, for instance, in this example, I told it that I wanted to, I want, I'm making slides for this event and that I needed some help. So it told me, hey, I've adopted, uh, how may I help you today? So I'm making some slides and then need help re revising the slides and then give me these options to presentation experts, technology expert, visual design guru. And I said, okay, presentation expert. Perfect. Now it asked me about some details on, you know, what is the inputs from the presentation? You got to fill in the blanks. You got to give ChatGPT the right data. And from there, we, we started collaborating with ChatGPT on the best way to uh, approach this presentation and to get advice from ChatGPT. So that is an approach you can take is starting with the super prompt will allow you to kind of have a solid base as you continue your thread. All right. 
cool. Like we said, chat GPT, just scratching the surface, but um, there's tons of opportunities. So if you have any questions, we'll, we'll open that up at the end, but we're going to move on to uh, using AI tools to become a better designer. And these are all around text to image tools. Um, and Canva is one of the most powerful free tools. There are a couple others that we'll get into, but um, just some use cases around Canva that are, that are really powerful um, to, to, to use it. It's, it's free. So you just go to settings, apps, and then the text to image, as you can see. And really four main inspirations for how I use Canva is for mood boards. Um, when I'm working with the designer, creating mood boards, like really um, having a, a, a mind's eye for both real and AI generated images illustrations and logos um these are also inspirational the logos aren't aren't perfect yet especially in canva uh mid journey is a little bit better for image generation stuff and all the ai systems have a ter <laughs> a terrible time with with uh text um you can create really good stock photos uh this is probably one of the most powerful things in in canva and then also like presentation covers or ads um, this was like a weekend retreat in the woods, camping style in a, a bright and and uh, like cosmic view. Um, so that that came out really really nice. Um, but the other options are Microsoft Designer, which is free. Canva alternative. It has a little bit more features like replacing backgrounds and AI generating backgrounds. But the most powerful, not free, uh, is Mid Journey, and it's it's powered in Discord. And on a Discord server and starts at 10 bucks a month. And it's super, super powerful. Um, the stuff that people are uh, are doing with Mid Journey is incredible. I'm seeing a lot of um, newsletter creators build out like whole portfolios. All their images are, are Mid Journey based. And that really becomes powerful in presentations, newsletters, blog posts, Twitter threads, et cetera. So you can use AI to um help make you a better designer and go from idea to reality very quickly now let's get into the good stuff automating and saving time <laughs> okay let's get into bardeen so you've probably heard about bardeen by now but if you're totally new bardeen is an ai automation tool that allows you to automate manual work directly from a Chrome extension. It allows you to combine data extraction with custom with um, connecting your your apps, enriching your data, uh, classifying your information, and so many powerful actions on AI. So this is a powerful toolbox that you can use to extract data from the web. That is called web scraping to open your meetings to customize your automations to automate data entry from LinkedIn into uh, Notion, for instance, that is a very frequent use case to connect your apps, to enrich your data and to leverage so many AI actions. We have powerful features like web actions that are integrated inside Bardeen. You can prompt automations into reality and we're gonna show that in a second. Uh, we have built-in enrichment tools so you can enrich your emails, enrich your links and uh, a scraper builder that where you can build a web scraper in minutes instead of hours or with an engineering team. So let's show you some examples of Bardeen. So the first thing I wanna showcase is the magic box. So we've recently introduced a feature inside Bardeen that is called a magic box. And it's an input that you can specify the prompt that you want, like you can describe your automation and Bardeen will turn it into reality. It's uh, a way, it's an AI that allows you to build automations. Uh, I don't think we can see the demo here, but the way you can run it is you need to get Bardeen, you enter the workflow that you want to automate and then you let the AI assistant build it for you. So it's no coding, it's intuitive, and it's fast. Let's see an example here on how it is faster than building an automation from scratch. So uh, let me show you inside uh, Bardeen how it looks like. And okay, I'm gonna share a screen. 
So this is the Bourdain magic box. As you go into Bourdain, you can find the magic box and you can prompt it to create automations. So you can uh, prompt an automation like um, generate a meeting in 30 minutes or find event participants or current meeting and you can let the AI building build it for you. And from here, you will get uh, the output. So let's see, let's see some examples from the presentation. Jordan, can you send back again? Yeah, I'm still sharing. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue to the next one. And this is how you can leverage Bourdain scrapers to build your automation. So we already have more than 30 uh, scrapers are, that are available on Bourdain and you can just pick one of those and start building automations upon that. So you don't even have to build a scraper from scratch. You can use our own scrapers. We have scrapers for Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google Trends, so many other cases. And uh, let's see this example a bit below on the difference. Uh, So, uh, okay, just just uh, so you can see here, so we have some issues with the files, but uh, with Magicbox, you'll be able to, instead of building the entire automation, you can simply prompt it inside this input and let Bardeen AI build it for you. Okay, let's go into some next examples. So one of the main use cases for Bardeen and productivity is meetings. It's being able to uh, automate those processes that take so much time out of our meetings. Like how much time are lost in meetings by sending invitations, by finding the event link, by pushing people to join the meeting, by preparing meetings and much more. So we can save so much time out of our day-to-day -day just by automating those small workflows. And these are workflows that compound with time. If you get to automate that process of, for instance, uh, finding like, automatically opening your calls. Let's see the first example. If you're able to automate this process of five to 10 minutes that you need to find your call and open it, that will allow you to save time in the long run and be able to save some, uh, some valuable minutes out of your day. So can you, uh, yeah, let's go into this example in this video. And we can see how it's built. So this is the, join next meeting one minute before it starts use case and the way you can run it is you simply need to automate to to activate the auto book and automatically this whenever you have uh, an event this will open up the uh, the event that meeting and the meeting link automatically so we're seeing, we're seeing here how you create a meeting and once you get that you will see um, bardeen also open the meeting automatically. So you can just uh, activate this automation and whenever you're distracted or you might be grabbing a drink, a coffee, and boom, the meeting gets opened automatically. That's actually how we joined this meeting right now. And that small productivity hack has uh, helped so many people and has helped myself to save at least uh, you know five minutes out of every meeting that I go into. And it's perfect for people that are so like busy and then out of a sudden you get your meeting popped up. So let's see the next example for meetings is to uh, notify the people that you're waiting in the meeting room because people sometimes they're late for the meetings and for you to actually go and push each one of the participants, you might need to go into Gmail, make a make a, a draft and send it, and that takes a lot of time. So this automation will be able to send an email to all the meeting participants saying that you're waiting in the meeting room and will send the meeting link. So it's a way to push instantly the people on that event. Uh, now, let's see another one, is to get calendar events daily on WhatsApp. 
So this is an automation that automatically every day at 8 a.m. gets the event from your calendar into WhatsApp message. And it'll be set up like this uh, image that we have here. So you get every day a message with the events for today. So this is very useful for you to head start in your day and have those meetings already in your WhatsApp. That is probably the number one place that you're checking on the morning and have the context for your day. The only thing to consider here is that you need to authenticate the, um, for Dean bot or just click on the WhatsApp link and you need to write to Bardeen first before activating this automation. Um, and this will get you an everyday message with your meetings. All right, the next one is to add the participants information before an event uh, starts. So how much time do we also spend if we are interviewing a candidate, if we're uh, maybe, can you scroll up? Uh, if we're doing uh, maybe a sales call, we have to prepare each one of these meetings and that is a lot of time usually where you need to search that person on LinkedIn, on Twitter, everywhere. Now, this automation will be able to search through the participants of that event. It'll enrich the information and it'll find those people's uh, social media links and bios and it'll add them to the calendar description. So whenever you go into the into the event and you go into Google Calendar, you see the description filled with context of the people that you're gonna have the call with. So that is very useful for sales, for people in recruitment and much more. Uh, the next one is how to launch calls instantly. So this is a, one of those automations that you can run in less than 30 seconds is that let's say you're chatting with Jordan on Slack and you're like, hey, we should grab a meeting. So the process for you to say that to actually sending the link, it also takes a couple of minutes. So this will allow you to be a bit more productive. You can simply go to Bardeen, select on the call Slack user in Zoom automation. You simply pick the recipient of that, um, of that meeting in Slack. So I select Renat and this will send him the link for the call. So you can uh, speed up that process of launching new calls to, with your teammates at Slack. So you can browse more use cases on how you can automate and optimize your meeting workflows at bardeen.ai slash meetings. And let us know if any of these resonate with you and you're excited to try any of these out. So the next one are use cases for productivity. We've sourced some examples that I think can be good use cases on how you can leverage Bardeen and Bardeen AI to get more out of your day. So the first example is summarizing YouTube video transcripts. So we're probably seeing a lot of YouTube videos and we also wanna get some of those highlights. So this automation allows you to transcribe a YouTube video, summarize it with AI and get those highlights from the video into a Google Sheets. This combines web actions, scraping and open AI commands. So it's able to scrape the transcript from that video and then summarize it with AI. And it's all in one click. So you run the automation and it'll be able to save that, those notes and those takeaways from the video into a spreadsheet. So you can create your own system to for learning and to optimize also your, your learning curve and uh, how you browse videos on YouTube. The next one is actually a showcase from a user that shared inside their community on how she wanted to cut the noise of so many reviews when she's searching for an Airbnb. She wanted to get a summary of the reviews from Airbnb. So what she did was create a Bardeen automation that scraped through all of the Airbnb reviews on a page, then summarized them with AI and got her that summary with the context that she needed. You can use this also to respond to your own questions about an Airbnb place and to even redact maybe a message, uh, an outreach message to that Airbnb based on the reviews. Um, so these are some ideas on how you can leverage it for even personal productivity things, like when you're going on a trip and you need to, to research for your Airbnbs. You can do this either for Airbnbs or for hotels and so many other cases. The example here is that this user built this automation yourself and 
we um, we try to promote that we uh, share more use cases between the community. We have a community that you can find at community.verdin.ai, and you will find a lot of use cases uh, shared there, and you can share your own in the community. Um, okay, so let's continue that, to the next that's one. Also, that's also cool for like Google reviews um, as well. You exactly. could like summarize Google reviews for businesses um, and kind of Brad, similar to what you're, you're thinking about, not for life events necessarily, but um, Google reviews for certain zip codes, you can clean it up um, with some automations. Yeah, that's another pr very powerful use case is to be able to uh, scrape the reviews and use that either for analysis to maybe get the highlights from the user experience of a business or maybe to reach out if you're trying to reach out to that place. So there's a lot of opportunities for you to customize your own workflow there based on script data. Now, the next one is getting scraped trends uh, into your inbox daily. So how often are you checking trends in your industry? It's likely that it's not that often because you need to go into trends and check every day and it requires a lot of context switching. So we have automations that can help you make this part of your day-to-day. -day. So this automation will get the hottest topic of the day from any topic and any country into your Slack inbox every day. So you can go into Google Trends, you can select a page that you want to scrape, and you can run an automation, a Bardeen automation that will scrape through that, it'll analyze it, and it'll get you the hottest topics into your Slack inbox. So let's see an example here. So you go to the page, then you run the automation, and this, all of these will be sent into your Slack. And you only need to specify the link and the amount of items and the Slack channel. Let's see. And that's it. That is how you will get your trends uh, every day. And this combines uh, scraping and like our triggers that every day at certain time run this automation. Okay. And something interesting for that as well is like if you're running a newsletter or, you know, wanted to put out Twitter threads for your business, that's a really interesting way to do social and especially on, on curation or top links, a uh, good way to stay in, in touch with, with customers or to grow an audience as well. So super powerful. Okay, now this one I think you, you everyone can like because uh, this is actually one that I use myself and it's a way to generate data reports with AI. And imagine the process of you going every Friday and check your data on social media or on Slack or on Google Analytics and you have to get the main data points, copy, paste them, redact the message and share to your team like, hey guys, we're improving on XYZ and this, are, this is our data, right? So this process takes a lot of time. And if you're able to scrape those dashboards with Bardeen and then generate a summary uh, and like an analysis through AI, then you can send those automated uh, messages with an analysis of the data from your dashboards. Let's see an example here with Metricool. That's one of the leading um, social media apps. So you can get data from Metricool and then get a detailed summary with Bardeen. And this is done through the Bardeen Magic Box, as we were showing earlier. And so this gets you a draft of the automation. And from there, you can just start building upon it and specify that you want to use this automation to send it to your team. You customize it and then you run it, and this will help you send reports to your team members at certain time. Like every day, you can customize it to happen once or to happen every day at certain time. So you can do this for social media or for community management and so many other uh, use cases. This I used to analyze the data from our own community at this course we can see an example below. So here's the example uh, output, as we can see. Um, all right, so here's the how I use it. I basically have a dashboard from Pareto on the analytics from our Slack, and I'm able to get that data scraped with Bardeen 
run an automation that will get the highlights from, from this page, and then it'll share it on our Slack. So it's simple automation, and you can also replicate the same logic on your own dashboards in your company. If it's on the web and you can scrape it, you will likely be able to use this too. Any thoughts on this, Jordan? Super powerful. Like data aggregation, uh, really, really powerful to put all, yeah. all your data in one place, especially if it's running weekly, like you mentioned, like sending it directly to Teams. Tons of time saving. Yeah, and you can you can customize it as you want, like because you will tell AI the format that you want that report to be sent as. So I told it, for instance, in this case, like, hey, give me a, um, like, not only include, analyze the data, but also give me the top active members and showcase them here in this format. So you can customize yeah. the message as you need to. And this, once you set it up once, it'll just run every week or whenever you need to run it. So you can set it up to be automatic with Bardeen triggers uh, and you will find them inside the app too. All right, uh, let's continue. And the last one is one of those use cases of how you can leverage uh, also Bardeen as your assistant for answering requests and creating tickets. So this sounds a bit crazy, but I use Bardeen, this is a real real life use case on how I use Bardeen to respond to uh, questions from the community thanks, uh, based on scrape data. So this automation is able to scrape the data from uh, the community at Bardeen and then I can kind of uh, not, not get a fully automated message but I can simply customize like what I want. Like, I want to say, thank the user and tell him that we'll fix this soon, or I will generate, um, you know, uh, like I customize the message, I give it a, an input, and OpenAI elaborates over that input and gets me a draft that I can then use as an inspiration to send the response. So that is a way that you can, from the web, you can scrape the data and generate responses to those messages. So this is a use case for support and community building. You can do this the same for LinkedIn, you can do it for Instagram, and you can use the same logic of basically, if you have an input, like your own input, and you have the scraped data, you're able to generate uh, a bit of drafts for your responses. Now, I use this both for responses, but I also use it in a more internal level on how I create issues based on the bugs that are reported in the community. Can you, can you uh, scroll down? Sorry. Thank you. So here's an example on how you can also generate a linear ticket draft from a topic on the web. So whether you're on this course or another forum, maybe on Twitter, uh, if you spot an error and you're able to scrape the data from that page, it's gonna be relatively easy to do. Then you can simply uh, create an automation that will act as a product manager and uh, generate a linear ticket like a uh, a ticket for engineering to uh, go through this. And this this will generate me the draft that I can build upon. So it'll, it'll take the information from the user from the entire thread. It'll also take my own input and I'll be able to use this draft to, uh, to submit that ticket in linear that is our support, like our, our system uh, for product management. So these are some examples that you can use um, both on support and project management that will be able to uh, help you like save a ton of time from your day to day. Now you can explore so many other use cases on, an, uh, on our automation catalog that is at bardeen.ai slash playbooks. And you will, you will find hundreds of free automations and guides. And you can also follow us on social and LinkedIn at Twitter where you will be able to see the use cases that we share constantly. We also have a very active Bardeen community where you will be able to see use cases, discover use cases, get support, ask your questions, record your bugs, and become an active member. And we have events for active members. We have some community ambassadors and a lot of perks. So I hope to see some of you there too. All right, Jordan. Awesome. We got a couple questions if we wanna if we wanna address those about about Bardeen. 
Anna's downloading it. Amazing. You're going to, you're going to love it. Like I said, minutes become hours. Um, they add up. Uh, Parker asked a good question. Once you, once you scrape um, the Bardeen for the cross reference of existing data, can you re- use it to remove duplicates in Google Sheets? I'm like when sure you scrape, that. yeah, you you can you can remove duplicates from a table using Bardeen. So we have a command for that. Um, but also we have even better. We have commands that will update the data. So like if you already scrape things once, and then you want to scrape the, the same data, and like for instance a LinkedIn search, you scrape once. And then you're going to scrape it again because it might have new new items. Then instead of instead of like duplicating the rows, it'll update it. So it'll update the data and it'll add the new rows if there's any new ones that do not match. So we have both actions to just add the rows or update and add. So those are uh, some commands that you can explore inside uh, Bardeen. And we have documentation on this inside our community too. So feel free to to drop those questions in the community. Uh, We have also another, some other questions. So thank you a lot for the participation. We have here a comment from Charles that this AI operates on client side. Do I need to keep my device open? Yes, that is true. So Bardeen is a Chrome extension, right? It operates from your uh, browser and you need to keep Bardeen open while it runs through the uh, scraping. So uh, the only thing to consider is that uh, like, like you can run any Bardeen automation as two ways. You can either run it on click or as an auto book that is triggered when certain event happens. And we're working on making Bardeen also be supported on the cloud. So whenever you go to sleep, whenever you close your computer, you will be able to keep those automations and those scrapers running. And this is something that we already have some advancements and We'll be happy to share some of our demos later this year. All right. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Cool. Let's go into so we're Barely. Jump. I'm so excited. Yeah, Barely Barely's a really cool tool um, that really superpowers your research. It's hyper-specific on deep text, um, summarizing PDFs, combining them and analyzing the key takeaways and combining them all to basically create a power document, if you will. So there's three like main use cases for Barely. Um, it's a really cool tool for you guys to just check out. Um, and one of, the re- one of the ways to use it is the executive summaries of articles. It does one of the best jobs that I've seen um, in the contextual engine of summarizing the key takeaways and it does it right on screen um so you don't you can actually pop back between the article and the the summary right on um right in your browser so that's that's a really cool feature another one is youtube summaries so if you don't want to watch a full full youtube video kind of bardeen was also doing this but this goes a little bit deeper in the like in the summaries without using open ai um as the back engine but um and if you want to set up notebooks you can have all of your summaries based in one notebook so if you're researching a certain topic have like a list of four or five you can add a new one right below your old one so it's really it's a pretty nice workflow and then the the power use case in my opinion is the summarize and combine pdf so if you're writing an article or a research paper or something that requires a lot of sources, you can actually use them to summarize a bunch of PDFs. Like say say it's like published literature, or if you're working in like med tech or clinical tech, you can put all of those things into uh, a deep summary and then write uh, an article or use it to reference those key summaries and the PDFs all together. So Barely is a really cool tool to check out. You really just have to play with it yourself and get in there and like see your specific use cases. But they're doing a lot of good stuff on both web page summary as well as image generation and combining PDFs. So they're they're moving fast. Um, it's definitely a cool tool to check out. Cool. And then 
our last one is a little meta here and then we'll go to Q and a and hang out, um, kind of open up the floor, but we built this presentation in gamma. Like we, this gamma is basically, um, PowerPoint on steroids and it's a, it's really, really powerful for collaboration meetings, building slide decks, building portfolio sites for like your presentation for presentations or proposals, as well as creating lead magnets. So this is a portfolio site that I built using ChatGPT and, um, and Gamma. So it's basically just like, I'm a designer that designs lead pages and this is my, this is my uh, brand. So I can, and this is all embedded in, in gamma as well. So it's the having trouble loading. It's not perfect, pretty new tool as most of these are. Um, but you can see it's pretty, it's pretty powerful and you can publish it immediately. And another cool thing is building and publishing uh, lead magnets. It's really, really powerful. You can use chat GPT. Like it's not showing up, but this was like seven ways to use ChatGPT written by ChatGPT turned into a gamma lead magnet and you can publish it live to the web as well as print to PDF immediately. And no, you don't need any experience at all with, with gamma. It's like very, very simple to use and it has an AI embedded and it's run on credits. So you get a certain amount of credits that you can use for free. We were using the free plan for this. So it's really, um, re you can get pretty far on it um, and it will build a site for you automatically. Um, so I definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're like writing custom proposals for clients. If you got on a call with them and then 30 minutes later had a custom website with your offering with all of the things that you guys talked about, that could be like really powerful and impressive to, to wow and show how fast you move. Um, and we built this slide deck using both ChatGPT, our experience, and um, five tools, five days. But we were, were helped with the formatting for using uh, ChatGPT to build Gamma slides. So this was kind of the rundown of how we used this. And you guys can go, go through this. Um, you'll have so access to this slide deck. But yeah, if you want to talk about this real quick. I've been I've been using I've been using uh, gamma for a while I've used it in a couple of events um, I'm really happy because it, it, it's, it has like a notion like interface it's very powerful too and it not only allows you to generate slides from scratch with AI like you can use this feature that converts text to slide but you can also edit with AI so once you have your your slide, you can also prompt it to like, hey, I want you to change the layout to make it more interesting to add images and, and so. So this trick that we were able to do here is a way that I found that you can, uh, based on a draft of your event, you can uh, go to ChatGPT and you can prompt uh, the following. You can, can you go uh, a bit up? So the first step is, so the first step is once you have a draft of the agenda of the event and some of the content that you want to uh, include, so you can have it on a notion, on a doc, you can brain dump it and you can collaborate with ChatGPT to plan that event. Now, then you go into ChatGPT and you tell it, hey, pretend you're a professional speaker. I'll give you the draft of the event. You have the context from our previous conversation and I will also give you context uh, of the presentation that I'll be giving. And I want you to generate the slide presentation, including the content from the draft. And this will be inputted into a text to slide AI tool for slide generation. Now, once that is done, like this will get you uh, an, an output with the slides of like step-by-step -step slide. And once that's done, you can also ask it to generate me a prompt with the instructions for Gamma to create that slide. So you will both get like the slides content and the instructions for Gamma to generate that, those slides. So can you uh, go a bit below? And I, I want to show you. Uh, so you go into um, so you go into this text transform feature, and this will ask you. Uh, can you scroll down? And this will uh, 
this will allow you to get that output from ChatGPT that is both the slides and the instructions and just paste it into the, um, into the gamma layout. And only with an instructions and the paste content, this will generate a slide for you. I actually wanna, wanted to share the slide that it made for us. Maybe if I'm able to to share it, like the like the initial slide that made just by doing this example was this one. I want to showcase here. So this was the slide that just by using this hack, it generated this, except for the image that I customized, but it, it generated this layout. And this entire thing was made in less than five minutes. And with Gamma, it took one minute just creating it. So it went through the through the data. I used like some of the things that we talked about today, right, are already here. Uh, the deep dive on ChatGPT, Canva, meetings for DNAI, barely Gamma. And so, so that's kind of a meta example of how you can also use it to plan your own um, your own presentations. And you can export that as a PDF or a shareable link as well. So that, that can be the outline of a presentation or a talking points, et cetera. So it's super, super flexible. I think they're working on PowerPoint and Google slide integration as well. So you could out export to PowerPoint and edit from there, which would be pretty, pretty incredible. But um, the hosting on web and printable for a PDF is super interesting. Yeah, beat you to it, Parker. Um, they're they're working on it, and I think Tome is another tool that's very similar to Gamma. Gamma has a little bit more um, like customizability, in my opinion, right now. Um, but Tome is another tool that's actually really incredible, and we go over that in five tools, five days, um, as well. So, awesome. So the question was, can you export as a PowerPoint? And, and yes, they're they're working on it. You can also do, uh, export as a PDF and have it as a public link that you can share. As we're yeah, doing the last right time, I, last time I checked, they didn't. They weren't done with the Pratt PowerPoint export, but I knew it was on it was on the roadmap. Awesome, pretty cool. Okay, we will go into the questions now. And so we've gotten a couple here that we want to start going over. So we have uh, Charles, and he's asking that would moving Bardeen, I'm assuming, uh, moving Bardeen into the server side will make it more capable of doing multiple tasks as, as one. Um, so this is um, so just for context, Bardeen runs inside your browser, and this is a bit of a limitation that certain automations might stop whenever you close your browser. So your automations will only run when your browser is turned on, but we're working on cloud support that will allow what Charles is saying, uh, server-side support. And this will allow many powerful use cases like scraping, uh, maybe uh, whatever you need, like job job searching uh, for, uh, for candidates, for leads. And this will happen automatically even when you're asleep. This will also make it more capable of many automations for email, for enriching data, and, and much more. So I do think that uh, that is um, something that will power up Bardeen. Yet as of right now, we already have many uh, powerful features that you can try. And many of them are also in our free tier. All right, so we have also Parker. If I'm scraping multiple sources, okay, that, yeah, we already approached that. Uh, we have Andrew, can I use Bardeen to scrape event data from venue website and pop it into a WordPress calendar CMS or we need to put it into a spreadsheet first. So let's say you have venue websites like Luma links when we shared in this event, you should be able to scrape those events uh, and then save it into a spreadsheet and from there, you can uh, integrate it into WordPress, or you can export it as a CSV and then add it into WordPress. I think that would be the best option. All right. Yeah, or, or webhook maybe. Yeah, exactly. That also that can also be done. We have um, get and post HTTPS requests. 
We have a tutorial on that if you want to get a bit more technical and send the data there. All right. Webhooks uh, we are the future. Oh, yeah. Jess is answering here Andrew's question that you will need to put it on a spreadsheet first. Thank you, Jess. Jess is an awesome uh, member of the working community. For joining, we have Anna sharing that he's downloading Bardeen. Awesome. And uh, I'm so glad about that comment. <laughs> and please, please do share your thoughts. We have a community where you can also share your automations and your progress, and we'll be there to support. Uh, do you need to, the next one is Anne, do you need to pay for website hosting and domain for Gamma? Jordan, do you know this? Um, I I think um, I think you do for custom, but it's on a credit system, so I, I knew I would need to double check. But uh, we can check out the the pricing. Awesome. We have Juan Ignacio. Thank you for joining and thank you for the good comment. Uh, all right. So, any other questions? Another one from Parker. Can you use Bardeen to identify leads from a Google Sheet, scrape info from a database and fill info in Google Sheets? So let's go step by step. You can use Bardeen to enrich leads. So if you have, for instance, a spreadsheet with uh, LinkedIn links and their names and their emails, you can enrich that data from that spreadsheet. Maybe if you only have this, the, the LinkedIn links, you can get to scrape all of those links in the background and get a spreadsheet with all the data from those LinkedIn profiles. That is one way. Or if you have the emails, you can also use our Clearbit integration to find data from those emails, like finding the LinkedIn profile, like the name, the bio, and uh, kind of those extra information from, the, from, the, from each lead. And uh, being able to save, um, to scrape info from Zoom, I think that's possible. I haven't seen a use case from that. Uh, Apollo, I have seen users exploring that. Uh, and we have users that have um, cracked the Apollo scraping use case. Uh, so I think that is possible. And you can use fill it into Google Sheets. We also have other databases like Notion and Airtable. And so, so yeah, that's to answer Parker. Thank you for the question. All right, if that is uh, everything. So I wanted to thank you so much, Jordan, for participating today. I think it's been a great collab and I'm excited to see both of the communities also kind of merge and get some of uh, Bardeen's users to try out the course and get some of, uh, you probably need robots to try out our community and try out Bardeen. So thank you everyone. Absolutely. And thank you also for joining this session because this is a huge milestone for you to taking the time to learning about AI, to actually figuring out how you can use AI for your own productivity. So kudos on you for being here. And I hope you have a great day and thank you for joining. Jordan, do you have thank any you guys? Comments? Yeah, thanks for having me. Like, like we were saying, just, just try this stuff out. Like this should be light bulb moments for how you can improve your life. It's not gonna replace you. It's just gonna enhance your life. Um, and so, I did drop a, a discount code for live attendees for our robot course where we go way deeper into, into all this stuff. And it also is going to be coming with some more exclusive content on custom automations with Make and Zapier and Bardeen and all of the good stuff. So join us there and more than, more than happy to connect. And thank you guys so much. Thank you. Have a great day.